Welcome to Sober Bar Keep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. Today we're going to take a look at Sober Carpenter Irish Style Riz. Sober Carpenter is out of Canada, but it's widely available in the United States. You'll find it at Total Wine. you find it a lot of places. I've seen this uh, all, all over. You can find it at a lot of the distributors, a lot of the online uh, shops, uh, NA shops. Um, it's pretty widely available. It's taken me a while to get to this, but uh, we're going to take a look at it. Uh, I like the tall boy, the Canadian style tall boy cans. Uh, most a lot of their NAs come in these tall boys, but I think it's kind of cool. Uh, all right, so let's take a look. Irish reds are typically fairly balanced, more of a malty style, uh, and they do they got this kind of red amber kind of color to it, really dark, and, and it's it's a nice kind of dark red. Um, I like it, kind of a burgundy red. Uh, so the color's right, and the smell is dead on. It's really kind of got a malty, light, lightly hopped, but very malty uh, aroma to it. Um, and, you know, a nice, decent little hit. You can taste this. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, if you've watched this at all, I'm not a big super hobby fan. I'm not a big IPA fan. This is more of a malty style. Uh, and, it, man, it just it tastes like an Irish red to me. Um, it's got a very nice balance. It's it's a malty. It's got a real nice. Irish reds have a have a interesting yeast that they use that imparts a different kind of flavor to it, on top of the malt, and and I like that too. Uh, you know I, I'm a, a hefe guy, and, and I like the the yeasty flavor of a hefe. So this kind of trends towards the style that I like. Um, so I'm maybe a little biased, but I really like this. It's got just enough hops in it. To really level off that malt, um, this is a nice, very well balanced uh, Irish red, and it tastes like an Irish red too. This is a four and a half. Uh, I really, really like this. Um, I've enjoyed prepping for this one, um, it, and it's got—I would say—it's got a lot of body to it, um, and it's got—it's it, kind of interesting. Some of these NA beers, uh, you can drink, or I can anyway. I can drink a whole bunch of them, and I don't get full. This one, you just feel the, the heft to it when you drink it, uh, which to me is, is one of the things that beer always had that I've kind of missed in some of the NA beers. Um, not that they're bad, it's just it's one of the, one of the complexities or one of the uh, features, I guess, of a beer that sometimes is missing in NA. This has got heft to it, it's got body to it, um, and it's got that nice malty flavor to it. Now, if you are a super hoppy, kind of that crispy, light hoppy flavor, you may not like this because uh, this is much more of a deep um, malt with ye the yeast. You can definitely taste the yeast overtones in this thing. Um, and then the maltiness and just enough hops in there. You know, it's not like the hops are missing. You, you can taste the hops and it's, it's very well balanced. I really, really like this one uh, from Sober Barkey. Live well and drink smart.